What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be ranking all the roller coasters at Cedar Point. If you guys enjoy ranking videos, stay tuned <coughs> because we are gonna have a, a lot more coming out in the future. We're gonna be doing as many parks as we can. So yeah. Go subscribe to my gaming channel, Max Plays Video Games. It would be much appreciated. And we do lots of gaming videos over there. We put we have a new video that came out today, or it's coming out later today. I don't know because I'm filming this on Thursday. So yeah, but yeah. So let's get right into it. Starting off with. Let, hold on. Starting off at number 17, we have Wilderness Run. Wilderness Run is an intimate kitty roller coaster. Typical, not extreme kitty roller coaster. I've ridden it. It's basic, but it that was the first roller coaster ever made by Intamin. And now you have so many other Intamins around the world, like Millennium Force at the same park, Top Door Draxer at the same park, Wicked Twister at the same park. So, yeah. Next up is Woodstock Express. This is more, of, this is the park's other kiddie roller coaster, but it's, I, it's kind of a family roller coaster more. It's made by Vacoma. Vacoma no, is good with the kitty coasters, we know that. And yeah, kitty roller coasters. And Wilderness Run's a good ride. It you you get jerked around on some of the turns and it's it's a good it's a overall good ride. Next up in the 15th spot we have corkscrew this is the uh, park's aerodynamics roller coaster looping roll, corkscrew looping roller coaster whatever you want to call it i absolutely i haven't ridden it but looking at povs i absolutely hate it just watching povs my dad wrote it he said he and he had a headache for the rest of the day after he got off on it this rides a piece of junk and needs to go to the scrapyard we are all enthusiasts, including me, want it to go to the scrapyard. We don't like it anymore. It makes no sense. And, yeah. Even though it is a very iconic roller coaster, it's the first roller coaster to go upside down three times. Next up is Cedar Creek Mine Ride. This is the park's aerodynamics mine train. And it's... One of the lamer mine trains out there, I'll be honest. You get beautiful views because you're over the water most of the time uh, of the pond or Cedar Point River or whatever. So you get good views. This is this is getting kind of rough. It has two lift hills, which I think it only needs one. It's super slow and it just slithers around the track like legit. Even though this ride does have some good, it has some th theming. A lot of rides at Cedar Point don't have theming. Next up is Blue Streak. This is a, a Philadelphia Toboggan Coaster's wooden roller coaster. This is a good ride. You get tons of airtime on it, and it's kind of rough, but it's okay. Next up is Gemini. This is the park's aerodynamics dueling racing roller coaster now this as of, at the moment is my favorite ride at cedar point because i did like i said it in many videos i went to cedar point in 2017 when i was a lot younger so i didn't go on this big bigger coasters so this was my favorite one there next up is Wicked Twister. This is the park's Intamin. Um, I forget what it, what. In, Intamin Impulse roller coaster. Good ride. My dad went on it. He really enjoyed it, and said it was a good ride. 
Next up is Iron Dragon. This is the park's aerodynamic suspended roller coaster. I really want to get on this, so and I heard it's a pretty good ride, according to my cousins, and they're both like 16. Well, once 14 and one is 16. So yeah. And then you have, next up, you have Rougarou. This is the park's floorless, being on floorless roller coaster, formerly it was a sand roller coaster. This is one of the rougher being on sit down roller coasters because it was originally Mantis, a stand up roller coaster, so it's been standing for a little a while. They put floorless trains on it and repainted it. Next up is, um,. Oh, yeah. Magnum XL 200. This is the park's aerodynamics. And, and it's a hyper roller coaster. It was the first roller coaster to go over 200 feet, I believe. You get some good air time on this, especially on the last bunny hills at the end. You go through two tunnels, I believe. And that's the ride, pretty much. It has an amazing drop, too. Next up is, um, Gatekeeper. Wait, no. Mm, yeah. Next up is Raptor. This is the park's b &M inverted roller coaster. It's a good ride. And it has a wonderful paint job with the dark green supports and bright lime green track. And pink on its trains. And... It's a good ride looking at POVs. Next up is... As you guys see, I am ranking them. I never rank them in advance, so I am ranking them as we go. So I'm looking at our CPD at the names. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> Next up is... Gatekeepers, the park's B and M wing roller coaster. It replaced Disaster Transport and and Space Spiral. It's a good ride looking at POVs. It goes through the key arches and it goes right over the main entrance. Next up, we have Val Raven. This is the park's B and M dive roller coaster. It's a good dive roller coaster. I really like it looking at POVs. When I saw it in person, I'm like, that's crazy and scary. But I'm going to go on it this summer, so don't worry. I will be going on it. Next up is Maverick. I'll make sure I didn't miss any roller coasters. Okay. Next up is Maverick. This is an instrument bliss roller coaster. Good ride. It goes over the water and it turn right after its sec second launch. There's geysers that shoot as you go past it. They don't get you wet really, but they shoot. So it's a good photo scene or video of it going behind you. Then, then you have Millennium Force. This is the park's Intamin. Giga roller coaster, incredible ride, and it's a fun ride. Now we have the last two roller coasters coming in at at number two is Top Thrill Dragster. This is a Intamin Strata roller coaster, and it's a good ride. It's the second most tallest roller coaster in the world. 420 something feet tall. That's a tall ride. And then in the last place, you guys all know the best roller coaster in the world comes in at number one, and that is Steel Vengeance, the park's hybrid RMC roller coaster, formerly Mean Streak by CCI. Oh my gosh, Mean Streak was a horrible ride. 
absolutely horrible ride. I'm glad they transformed it into the best roller coaster in the world. Lots of ejector airtime, lots of airtime, and that's all you can say about it. There's like, it's just crazy. It picks up the speed. It's at the time it was built, or I think it still might be, it's the tallest hybrid roller coaster and fastest hybrid roller coaster and and have, have me in the most airtime on a, a hybrid roller coaster. Well, that is my rankings for Cedar Point. If I missed a coaster, please put it in the comments below if they're on. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time. Go subscribe to the gaming channel, Max Plays Video Games. Bye.